Hi, my name's Ruth McDougall. I'm curator of Pacific Art here at the Queensland Art Gallery, Gallery of Modern Art. For this APT, I've been responsible for researching, developing and alongside the artists and my colleagues here at the gallery presenting works from across the Pacific region. One of the real focuses of this APT is performance. Um, performance has been something that's been in APT uh, throughout the history of the project, but for this one we really wanted to look at developing it beyond events that would be at the opening or part of the public programs and to look at the way performance, the context it's made in and also the work that it does within Pacific communities across the region. Performance is tie often tied to quite lengthy cycles that involve the creation of artworks and also the making of food and the coming together of lots and lots of people. So it acts in the community in a really, really dynamic way. It's often the way that people express their identity. It, uh, it's the way that people show their connections to particular landscapes and places and also to people. So it's quite a complex um, role that it plays in many communities throughout the Pacific. The Yumi Danis project in APT8 is an attempt really to bring a lot of those threads together. It's a project that we curated alongside Marcel Meltorong, who's a Niva Vanuatu storyteller and musician. And we worked with Marcel and 15 dancers from across the region, as well as a, an artist from New Caledonia, Nico Mole. And Nico and the team have developed an installation called They Look At You in the Gallery of Modern Art. And it's a space where they want you to come into and to really feel uh, what the kind of context in which performance takes place and the way that dance in particular transforms that space. So as you enter you come through the roots of a banyan tree into a very darkened space and you can hear the sounds of the forest ricocheting around as well as the haunting sounds of a panpipe. And Nico and Marcel were quite keen that as you come into this space that you take your shoes off so that you already have a very different connection to the floor and to the ground on which you're walking. The word Melanesia is one that was given to the islands of Papua, Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, Fiji, Vanuatu and New Caledonia by a French explorer, Jules Deville. And it, uh, the word actually means dark and is supposed to describe the colour of the skin of the peoples that inhabit those islands. The dancers that form part of the project Yumi Dan has come from many different cultures. On some of the islands that they come from, for PNG for instance, there are over 850 different cultures in that one, one place. So there's quite a diversity. The term Melanesia doesn't really accurately describe that diversity. The, the bilas, the songs and the dances that the different people sing are much more accurate at doing this. When the dancers talk about the things that they have in common, the skin is one of the things, but so is the food that they eat, their way of life and their dances, some of their dances or movements, and also their history of moving throughout the region uh, by sea as part of the Oceanic peoples. It'd be really great while you're in Yumi Dunnis if you can have a little think about what it is about all of those islands that are really, really close to us and the people that are living there and to really um, start to enjoy like obviously they do. You can see in the performances in the space their culture.